What's up, everyone? This is Adrian from Tribe 3. We're at Days of the Dead 2018. I am here with the only one, Jonathan Breck. How are you, guy? Hey, I'm good, man. How are you doing? Great. And thanks for your time for yeah, taking sure. a chance to talk pleasure, to us. Yeah. Cheapers Creepers, the uh, really iconic killer. Tell me how you got the role. <laughs> well, I was just an actor out in L.A. just looking for a gig, you know, yeah. trying to pay the rent like everybody else. And this audition came along. and. Uh, and I went and auditioned for it and went through a process of auditioning. And um, if your fans are interested, they actually put my very first audition on the internet. It's actually on YouTube. Oh, nice. So they filmed the very first time I came in the room and hadn't met anybody yet. And I came in as the character. And so they put that on the internet. So if wow. your fans are interested, they could see my first audition. So, yeah. So the uh, prosthetic makeup and all that, how long did that take to put on you? Well, it depends. I mean, some of these days, the open face day like this, where the head opens up, is like seven hours. Oh, wow. So pretty intense. I mean, it's a commitment. But uh, the other days, maybe four or five hours. The makeup has gotten a lot better. Like, I just did the third film this last year, and it was only about three hours. So it was, it was a cakewalk. It's a cakewalk for to, you, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, so. I, I got to tell you, when, when, the, when part one came out and part two, I was like, wow, this guy is like, we're going to become one of the uh, top ten iconic killers out there, right? But then came part three, Cathedral. Is that yeah. what it's called? No, it's not. No, it no, no, we didn't. Yeah, no, it's uh, just part three. Yeah, just part three. Yeah. Okay. In the timeline, after part two ended, when part three came out, it took like a huge jump. You know, like it, it didn't continue from part two where the old oh, man no, is no, waiting. No, no, no. Can you tell us that little, you know, where just whatever happened to that time? Well, I'm, you know, alert, spoiler alert here. Spoiler alert. If you haven't seen three, <laughs> close your ears, right? But it actually is that day and a half between one and two. Oh. Okay. So it ties one and two together, and it does it in a really inventive way, and it's actually a bit of a reveal at the end of the third movie, how they tie it together. Okay. That's why I said it's a spoiler. Oh. But it's actually, it it, ta it, ta it starts when one left off and ends at the beginning of two, basically. Oh, yeah. so that's where the confusion and the it's, web is exactly. everywhere. We originally were going to make a movie called Cathedral, which was going to pick up from the end of two. Okay. But that was a much bigger film with a much bigger budget. Okay. Uh, and we didn't have the budget to do it, so we made it much smaller movie. It's actually more of a return mm -hmm. to the kind of moody uh, horror film that one is. You know, it's not the big action feature that two was. So it's a little bit more of a smaller scale movie. Okay. More of an intimate movie. So, yeah. So, so for, for the people out there, can you tell us a little about where this creature came from or what's what's the story about? Well, that's something that we guard pretty closely to the vest, you know, and we've really done that intentionally because the idea is with each subsequent Creeper movie, yeah. We wanted to release a little bit more about the lineage of the creeper. And we do that because we really don't want to build a fence around him and tell you this is exactly who he is or what he can do. Because yeah. we want to be able to surprise you. <laughs> That's true. It's like, you know, you, you looked at that first, you watched that first movie and then that wing came out three quarters of the way through the movie. And you're like, yeah. shit, I didn't see that coming. Yep. Right? And so we really want the ability to keep surprising the audience. And the idea is to show a little bit more about where he came from and what he can do yeah. with each subsequent movie. So. So we're going to hold some of those things uh, close to the vest, and that's all intentional, you know. Nice. So, uh, besides Cheapers Creepers, what other projects are you involved with in the future, or something you would like to mention? Yeah, sure. It's like it's funny. Uh, I've done maybe 30 something projects, and these are not very many of them are horror. Yeah. Just the ones that became really wildly famous were the, the horror movies that I did. Um, I did a film with Richard Linkletter last year. That's really a, a sequel to Dazed and Confused which everybody's seen Dazed and Confused, one of my favorite films. And so I'm really proud of that, uh, and that just came out. And um, so I've got a couple other projects lined up. I'm writing and producing now, too, which is a whole nother ball of wax, you know? So I'm loving it. I'm loving that process. So, yeah. where, where can the fans follow your work on, on social media? Not on social media. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it, you'll be able to find, I mean, if you just keep up with me, Google me or whatever, it's just, uh, I'm just not, I was on social media for a long time and I just got tired of it, you know? It's just one less thing in my life that I don't need, you know? So you'll be able to find me if you want to find me. It's not hard, so. Or wait for the next 25 years, right? Yeah, or wait for or that 20, 
23. <laughs> yeah, 20, yeah. Get it straight, Adrian. Yes, sir. So. Yes, sir. <laughs> well, thank uh, you so much for your yeah, time, man. Jonathan. Yeah, man. My pleasure. That's great. For those of you, follow uh, follow on Google. Um, you never know. We might come out with something really great. And Cheapers Creepers, part one, part two, part three. And yes, look. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much, everyone. Follow us, Tri People Productions. Talk to you soon.